Strong storms leaving a lot of people in the dark tonight. Duke Energy estimates more than 500 residents are still without power and it won't be restored until the early morning. In Covington, gusty winds knocking down power lines and trees. That's where we find WLWT News 5's Rachel Hersheimer with the damage there. Rachel. Well, Chris, on Emma Street in Covington, you can see remnants of a tree that was recently blocking the roadway here. Within the last hour, crews were able to push it to the side. The battalion chief with the Covington Fire Department tells us some roadways tonight will be closed so crews can clear debris. Cleanup is underway in Covington. After strong storms rolled through parts of Main Strauss tonight. And all of a sudden I look outside and my back, my posted stamp backyard is now filled with the remnants of a, a tree that's probably close to a couple hundred years old. Around 530, the Covington Fire Department became flooded with calls. Uh, we were just getting sent run after run after run in the main Strauss area, all the streets around Emma, West 7th. Um, Bakewell. A tree on Emma forcing a detour and behind these homes branches are ripping up the ground. We had a lot of trees that fell on wires. Uh, some of them were electric. Some of them were um, telecommunication lines. Some neighbors dodged the damage. We didn't quite get the brunt of it, but but yeah, it looks pretty gnarly out here. While others are kicking off the week removing debris. This house was a project anyway, and so um, I'm rehabbing an old house that was neglected and uh, now this is just another uh, thing on my list. <laughs> Fortunately, John Martin with the Covington Fire Department tells us there were no injuries from tonight's storms. However, he says when you are driving on these roadways, you should watch out for any down power lines or trees as crews continue to clear the roadways. We're live tonight from Covington. Rachel Hersheimer, WLWT News 5. All right, Rachel, thank you so much. And justice for